Hey folks, how's everybody doing? Just want to give you an update. This morning, uh, probably around 09, I issued a warning order for OP wife number two. Be prepared to displace within the next four days. At the time, I didn't know exactly what time, our scheme of maneuver, our packing plan, logistics, I didn't know anything. It just popped into my head. We've been talking about displacing, taking a little, uh, a little trip. So I issued a warning order. A warning order was issued this morning. Be prepared to displace within the next four days on approximately 10 to 14 day trip with a very light packing plan. Whoa, boy, watch that, it's not a jungle gym. So the warning order was issued. She started adjusting accordingly, preparing. Within a few hours, within a few hours, the operations order was issued. It's been issued. It's set in, set in stone. We're rolling out on a little trip. The whole crew, me, the old lady, the two babies, and so earlier the pack plan included uh, checking a bag. We're checking some bags, right? Even though it was light, we're still checking bags. It evolved to where I said, no, we're going, we're going light. Like backpacks for me and her, small backpacks for the babies. And that's the way it's gonna be. Save 10,000 pesos by not checking bags. That equates to 200 US dollars by not checking bags. That's huge here. Okay, 10,000 pesos. You know what we just bought? We just bought a pig. A Lichon bad boy. 200 bucks, we bought a pig. By not, easy son, it's not a jungle gym, man. By not checking any bags. And so she's pared it down, she was grumbling at first. I said, look, that's a lot of money, that's the pig. You want a pig or you want to check a bunch of bags, right? So we got it down, she had three big backpacks. I said, no, that's one backpack too many. You're gonna wear a backpack, I'm gonna wear a backpack. The babies will wear their little small school backpacks. Uh, and they can put some stuff in there, but it's not gonna amount to seven kilograms. Seven kilos is the uh, Cebu Pacific uh, carry-on limit, and a lot of times they will check you. You know, so you gotta play the game. You gotta. Put all your heavy stuff in your pockets when you go up there in case they weigh your bag, right? And the minute you get over there, okay, put it back in the bag. Play the game. So that's what we're doing right now. She's in the process of packing. We're on a short clock. We've got a lot to do over the next 36 hours. I don't even think we have 48 hours. We have, a, let's just say we have less than 48 hours before this little deployment. Uh, rolling out. Right now we're at, we're at the combat outpost here in Angel East City, but we're about to go mobile. So anyhow, thanks for joining us. I don't know where I'm gonna take this video. I think we're gonna actually just talk about a little bit of the packing plan because people always pack too much gear, especially us gringos from the United States. We always pack too much gear. Oh my goodness, I see these people walking around Southeast Asia with these Mount Everest backpacks like sticking up way above their heads. You know, they're like 110 liters. Their back is hurting, they're all bent over, they got a little backpack on the front. And I want to go up there and tell them and say, hey, look, you're not backpacking across Southeast Asia. You're back hurting. Get rid of that monstrosity of a backpack that you would use to climb Mount Everest, uh, you don't need that. All you need is that front little backpack that you got, you know, wearing backwards. That's all you need. You don't need everything that's in that thing back there. Uh, 32 liters. 32 liters is the sweet spot that I found. And baby, if you'll hand me that Arcteryx Breeze over there. 32 liters, that's the magic number. And I'm gonna tell you why. There, you can put so much stuff in a 32 liter backpack. Uh, Fatima, earth to Fatima, loading, loading. Hey, can I get that backpack? 32 liters is the appropriate size to put everything that you need for a world, go around the world. 
and this is the Arcteryx Breeze. Um, this is a great trekking backpack. It's 32 liters. Why do I say 32? Because I've experimented with a lot of backpacks over the years, and this is what I've come to realize. Anything over 32 liters, the average person is gonna be back hurting. Because if you have that space, naturally you're gonna fill it up. Most of the time we don't take a bag and like fill it 30% full. If you have a bag, you're gonna keep stuffing stuff into that bag until it's full. That's what we do, right? With this Boy Scout slash doomsday prepper mentality, when, when you go on your backpacking trip across Southeast Asia or Central America, buy you a bag that's 32 liters, no more than 32 liters. You can get away with less than that, trust me, but 32 I think is the magic number, give or take a liter or two, but anything over 32 your back's going to hurt because you're going to put too much stuff in there, it makes it too heavy. There you go. So if you buy anything too bigger, uh, bigger than that, human nature, your, your pack rat mentality, you're gonna make the bag too heavy and you're gonna be uncomfortable trying to walk any distance and that bag just becomes that big tick on your back. All you're doing is back hurting and you're not expeditionary. So if you walk up to a taxi, the guy's trying to charge you way too much money, but that damn bag's been hurting your back because you had to walk from the plane all the way through this airport, stand in line, you're hurting so bad, you're just gonna go with it, right? Where if your bag is comfortable, you're, you're very comfortable to say, no, thank you, and, and you know, walk 100 meters and try to get a better deal. I'm okay with packing minimum clothing, but because of the nature of the business that I'm in, I'm taking a drone, I'm taking a, a, a DJI, uh, what's it called, a mini. Anyhow, I got a drone, I got to take an iPad, I got to take a MacBook Pro, and I got to take some chargers and camera gear, and I'll have a camera hanging around my neck, right? If I were not in this business, if I, was, if I were not a filmmaker, and I went on vacation, I would only carry what? An iPhone. That's all I would take. I used to travel around with a MacBook Air and an iPhone and I made YouTube videos um, and my pack plan was so much easier, right? And I could still be doing it. I choose not to because I don't like the look of videos produced on an iPhone. I like the video look from an FX3 from a real camera. That's just me. But if you're the average tourist just posting crap on Facebook or Instagram to show your friends and your family and it's not a real business. Travel the world with an iPhone and an iPad or an iPhone and uh, you know like a MacBook Air. You don't need all of this professional gear because most people who buy professional cameras um, nobody's watching their videos it just goes on a hard drive and when you die nobody knows the password and all that footage was wasted whereas if you just take your your cell phone take a few pictures you can post on Instagram people look at them for 0.2 seconds that's the nature of the internet right but being that this is what I do I'm carrying several kilos worth of camera gear and my carbon fiber tripod oh my gosh I'm not leaving home without my carbon fiber tripod I told Fadi Mama I said look Baby, where we're going, they have laundries, right? We don't need to pack everybody 10 pair of underwear, one for each day of the week. That's not needed. You know, for the babies, pack them maximum of four. Okay, every third day we take the stuff to the laundry. It's cheap, no problem. Okay, this is what I think the babies need. They need two pair of long pants. They're going to wear one on the plane because that's appropriate for a flight. So she only has to pack one pair of long pants, two pair of shorts, and uh, four sets of underwear. Really, they don't need that much, but okay, uh, you know, they're, they're small items, so I'm not going to argue with her. But for me, I'm going to wear a pair of underwear, I'm going to pack one pair, and I just wash every day. 
It's no big deal for me. I pack two pair of socks. I wear one pair of socks. I got one in reserve. I'm always washing every day. It's not a big deal to wash a couple of garments in, in a bucket, whatever, and, and hang them up outside. The sunshine is going to dry them. Um, plus, folks, okay, check this out. And she wanted to bring, bring a blanket. I said, baby, no need to bring a blanket. Because all this is going to add up to where you have to pay more money for what you check in. Now, I saved 10,000 pesos by going hand carry luggage. I said, if I give you 1,000 pesos, don't you think you can go to the market, buy a towel, buy a small blanket, buy some extra underwear? Well, of course she can. So if I give her 1,000, I still save 9,000 pesos. $180 by not checking in that suitcase that you see over there behind her. So she's she's slowly starting to come around and I said furthermore you know can't you wear some of your sister's clothes in the village? Now maybe I'm not that, 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 I'm, I'm well, <laughs> well the truth is you're a little bit more chubby than your sister so just tell the truth, baby. You're a little bit more chubby than she is. Nope. And maybe her clothes would be too tight on you. Okay. But, folks, we went to the Ukai Ukai place last night, and she she was picking out beautiful shirts for 20 pesos. Now, 25 pesos is like 50 cents. So for 40 cents, she's, she's finding shirts. I said, look, I'll give you 1,000 pesos. Go to the market. Buy some clothes. When we get ready to leave, you leave them with the sister in the village or whoever, give them away. But again, I've still saved 9,000 pesos by not having to check in any bags. Plus, I'm going to wag that stuff around. We're going to displace to several places where we're going. And so, expeditionary is me and her wearing, you know, the full-size backpacks and the babies are wearing those small little backpacks that you see over there on on the uh, next to the wall now you know they can carry a little bit of little bit of gear but probably basically snacks and uh, you know something to drink what what have you or they can uh, you know be self-sufficient right so that's where we're going with she's working on packing up the all raven backpack right there that's a great little pack I mean, tough as nails. It's made out of that G1000 material. It's tough, and it's the right size for a Filipino. Because if I put that 32 liter on it, on her, it's too big. But that is an appropriate size for her. So that's what we're trying to do. Right now, we're working on our pack plan, paring things down, even though she yak yak me a little bit. Wait, how about that? Perfect, baby. Perfect. Let me check it. Does it feel like it's uh, 15 pounds, 7 kilos? Oh, yeah, you can put a few more pounds in there if you want to. Matter of fact, save that for me. I'm going to put my uh, Apple charger in the top of that. I need to steal some of your weight there in case they, in case they really do crack down on the weight, baby. What's so funny, baby? You got some cheesemess going on? What's up? Go ahead, let the viewers know. What's the cheesemess? Wow, you look good in those shorts, baby. Those uka uka shorts. You know what? Perfect example. How much did you buy those shorts for? This one? Yeah. Just 50. One dollar. One dollar you bought those shorts. So if I gave you 250 pesos in Cebu, I'm sure you could find five pair of shorts and I still saved 9,000 pesos. Can I sing you a song, baby? Cause baby, baby, I get down on my knees for you. If you would only love me like you used to do, yeah. How you like that beat, baby? Okay, that's we're going to uh, no, do the beach. The beach. <laughs> the beach where you know? I don't know. When we get there, we have to talk to the folks. We have to talk to them and say, "Hey, we want to do, we want to do a big pig roast next weekend." Lichang Bad Boy. They said it's okay. It's only like a 200 peso corkage fee. Yeah, they, they want to go in the, they go in the beach. 
They want to go to no. They like want to come to the beach. beach. Yeah. They don't want to do it in the village. It's like being in the village. We just only do family. We not. I know, but maybe maybe the the viewers ah. want to see your village. Yeah, you can go in the village. Yeah. We go in the beach. <laughs> Well, baby, I gotta pay 50 pesos a head entrance fee. 50 pesos, 30 pesos, that's fine. I'm very good at You know that's what? Why I do, that's why I do this because. That, you know what? That's a great idea because now I can cap it. 20 guests, limit, limited to 20 guests. Okay, 30. 30? 30 is it, the limit. Oh, 30. That's it, it's limited. That's a good idea because if we do it in the village, there's gonna be 500 people show up. By the time I get filming, I won't even get a taste of that lich on bad boy. But if there's a if there's an interest fee per head, I'll gladly pay that. Yeah, we're going to beach and we're doing. We're doing next Sunday, right? Yeah. 4G, son. That's not a jungle gym, buddy. Okay, baby, just tell your brother to be on station, and I want you to make it clear to him that if he is oh, one minute, if he is one minute late picking me up, I will take the nearest taxi. Don't don't be late. I'm not waiting. My time is valuable. He hey, sounds like a horse on the ceiling. Oh Lord. No, you said in the room. What is? What does your shirt say? Let me see your shirt. There is always our shine in my heart. Shine, shine. Oh. And you want to tell us where you got that shirt? We all won. How much was it? Fifty. One dollar. Less than one dollar. I like it. Anybody wants to buy it, I'll sell it to you for two dollars. One hundred pesos. Oh! 